But yeah, yeah. Um, I've been here for about five years. And uh, the reason why I don't have much of an accent because I'm an English major. So I used, to, I used to be a teacher in Poland, actually. Yep. What did you teach? English to English. Polish people? Yes, I, I taught English to Polish folks. I always <laughs> love when teachers go the way of uh, the sex industry. How, <laughs> how did you uh, How did you do that? Well, when I came here to the States, obviously, I was very broke. I didn't yes. have any money, and I was still processing with the immigration services. Yeah. Didn't have my green card, didn't have my social, so I couldn't work. Yeah. And you know, I had to hustle, so I started wrestling scrawny, skinny dudes for money. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold up, man. I mean, have you seen All my right. curves? Hey guys, this is Romy Chase, and this is a footage of my recent interview with Rude Jude on Shade 45, Eminem's channel, a part of Series 6M, the show called The All Out Show. It's a really fun interview. We're going to talk a lot about my career and how I got started and why I got started. Make sure you watch the video till the very end because I'm going to attempt to breast smother and knock out John Matthews with my breasts. So <laughs> it's definitely a fun thing to anticipate. So stay tuned. Watch till the end. Subscribe. <laughs> that's I a saw your curves <laughs> like you thick as fuck. Right. That's um, a fetish. You know, so there's... yeah, but like how did like were you just like, man, I ain't got no money. And some skinny guy walked up and was like, no. hey, I'll give you some money to no, wrestle. No, not necessarily. So I, I registered on like a model mayhem at that time. It was pretty popular. Okay. And I got some offers like overnight, a bunch of like offers and paid gigs. And one of them was um, a guy who was offering me some kind of a martial arts documentary. So he claimed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I uh, drove. <laughs> he scammed me, obviously. So I drove I gotta down to start Sarasota. doing these things, man. Yo, I'm shooting a doc in my house about right that's literally I women mean, that's, pissing on me that's Ugh. honestly I, that's jeffrey dahmer vibes but i did it because i was broke <laughs> and i had to you know i had to i yeah. had to pay rent so i Let drove down to something. florida and was it did he have an erection when you were wrestling him or he did, did um he? he did and then later on once i got a little more comfortable with the wrestling i started wrestling uh scrawny guys like 411 like 100 pounds they were nude and wearing like chastity cage um that's the I, shit where you put your dick in the little fucking <laughs> <right>. thing <laughs> little little cage thing yeah i don't know how they do it man like what do they do grease their dicks up it looks so fucking <laughs> It looks impossible. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, some people are into small penis humiliation and cock okay. and ball torture. So, and you do all that shit, huh? I do all that stuff. Yes. All right. If I have, let's pretend. Uh, let's pretend that uh, you're gonna fucking um, chastise me for my tiny penis or <laughs> my my worthless dick. What would you say? Well, I would tell you that there's no way you could ever think that you could satisfy a woman like me mm. have you seen my body i mean with that little shrimp limp dick yeah. there's no way you can do anything and you belong in cage for life and do, you might yeah, as well okay. flush the keys because to, to my little cage <laughs> nobody's yeah. ever gonna fuck you so keep going i'm almost there <laughs> oh my almost, god lady he's coming <laughs> i'm all uh, just like two more paragraphs about what a piece of shit i am and i think i might bust yep <sighs> Uh, oh that's, my goodness! <laughs> well, it's, do you, I always find I find that interesting? The uh, where people just tell you you're a piece of shit. Uh, they like that. Oh, they love Is it. it. It's a fetish. I know, they like degradation like, fetish. You know, but I like degradation too, but in a different way. You know, what's your way? Like I like to degrade myself by doing this, like eating your asshole well, when I first that's, met that's you. That's pretty or, vanilla, you know. Or, in or the adult industry, like, that's pretty vanilla. <laughs> or, or like pay for, you know, just even there's a mutual degradation by getting the prostitutes. You're basically being like, man, I gotta pay somebody to be around me. And then they're they're like I gotta sell pussy to be or to get a, like I like that mutual degradation type shit.
No, this is different. They, they get off to like yeah. seeing this powerful, strong, independent woman and just talk shit about him, and they just get a boner and come. I mean, that is fucking nuts. You know, I'm just I and they pay so a lot of money for it too. Like it, it, it I, I charge hell of money for that kind of stuff you don't got to give me direct fucking numbers but like all right man you give me a session where do they eventually bust a nut or well i don't do any in-person sessions so everything is online um through a video but you call know after text. a mother you know after someone comes they get all calm and sleepy and they're like all right well it's been good talking to you miss well, thank you so my thing is to not let them come uh, it's a come in denial i mean uh, come denial uh, kind of uh, fetish so you, you don't wow. get to come like ever <laughs> only wow. i get to decide when you come and how you come so are these powerful people that like that then or like what kind of people like this shit? all kinds of people honestly yeah. from basement dwellers to lawyers is 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 there's no particular rule but i would say um successful men are into it a lot more because i my theory is there are successful and powerful in real life so yeah. they want to kind of balance it out, you know, in, in private. And I guess Yo. that's what it is. <laughs> bro, bro, I've been saying that shit, man. I've been saying that shit. I was I was going to I was trying to get a goddamn dominatrix because I, I ain't had a girl in forever and I take them out on dates. I decide everything, you know, like you're not like if I take you on a date, you know, you don't got to think about shit. I don't want you touching doorknobs, nothing like I got it. So if you're perpetually doing that and then I got to uh, like be in charge of not be in charge of the show, we all do the show, but having to like come on and run the topics. I was like, I mean, I just need a chick to whoop my ass or something. But then they, I tried it and I didn't like it that much. So a dominatrix is going to turn you into like a, a human furniture, or like a human toilet That might or be something. more appealing. <laughs> she, I, I've said this time and time again, but like I got this dominatrix chick that I was fucking with and uh, she just... Well, she rode me and just hit me in my head a bunch of times. And I, I lost my erection. I wasn't really into that getting punched in the face <laughs> while I fucked. I mean, but it's then, a vibe, you know? Yeah, it's something for everybody. <laughs> and she was into it too. Like she was like this little Asian broad that was like mad at her dad and white people. So it was like, a, uh, she, she really uh, brought So it was personal. Oh yeah, yeah. She was like, grah, grah, grah. Like, damn. <laughs> And you paid her for it. No, nah, I was fucking her anyway. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Well, Props. that ain't a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, but I, I totally understand that's why like people want to do that shit. And maybe I don't like to um maybe I don't like to be uh chastised or criticized because I kind of grew up feeling bad about myself and had to get to this point I, I didn't start off feeling great so i'm like nah man i don't like that shit so that's literally why those guys do it because they're insecure a lot of them are insecure and they feel bad about themselves and they turn their insecurities and in something into something that they embrace and i think that's extremely powerful and liberating so i respect that a lot you know because like if you have a small dick if your dick is like two inches there's nothing you can do about it so you're either gonna learn to embrace that or you're just gonna be miserable your whole life, and you get to choose which one you want to do. You know. <laughs> and I wish John, I I wish uh, John could show you his dick, and she could just yell at you for fucking five minutes about it. Oh like, my god, is it small? No, I don't. <laughs> no, chicks seem chicks seem to like his dick. Chick, yeah, uh, chicks. I've had some repeat but, customers. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, they might just want to keep their numbers down, though, John. Let's be real. That that's also true. So so do do you, do you fit the six 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 rule? I don't know. What's six six six? That's a double, six, right? Six inch cock. Okay. Six figure salary. Hey. Six foot tall. <laughs> well, I think I'm like two for three there. The whole six figure salary thing. I'm working on that. <laughs> You're six feet tall. God damn! I'm, I, I I'm just about. Six, I'm six. just about. <laughs> God damn! I'm four five three. This sucks. Ugh. <laughs> yeah all right so you got a song but we're, we'll play that in a second i was actually i'm going to describe you uh to the listeners and okay. let me go to your page you use the term human toilet about yeah. and that just whizzed by me what is what is human toilet yeah what man? does that mean it, it's like when men like to be like pooped on and peed on and stuff fun um okay. yeah and they like to eat it oh they like to eat oh, your man. shit. Right. They purchase it. 
like in the jar and stuff like no yo i hope you're charging them (laughs) i really i I don't necessarily i don't do that too often i I do sell farts in a jar though but (laughs) man (laughs) the poop stuff is so unsanitary and i feel like the usps would like really have a problem with that so i i haven't had that many clients that requested that and when they do they don't want to pay my rate so I don't blame and look <laughs> i'm gonna be real with you man i do a lot of shit but like having someone eat my poop just seems a little too oh, yeah that's a little me. much isn't it it's just like man yeah. that's just too intimate like you you're now you're eating the things that i <laughs> but but that's digested. on the table yeah i mean i could buy a jar of your feces if i wanted it you can't afford I mean, it, John. If you, can you don't afford got the six it. figures. I don't, yeah, like based on your salary, like you, you taller than yourself. I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, you know, if, if you paid like a lot, maybe. Man, you might be able to get some. <laughs> you might be able to get some pity shit out of her, man. Uh, but that's no, but about honestly, it. It, that is that is not that common. Although that I is a not. fetish, and I definitely know creators that do it. So. So and but people like is. They like the peeing, right? Is that? Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah, right. I got a fat ass. <laughs> what are you I looking at? My people... Instagram or my Twitter? <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it's uh, it's Pornhub. Porn I can't Hub. tell if it's real or not. <laughs> Golly. Do I need to stand up? I don't know if you can see it though, because like. I'm oh short. man. I'm short. <laughs> see, look, man. I'm gonna be real with you too. When'd you get here? You can't see it. Sure. Huh? Hold on. Oh yeah, so 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 move move towards the 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 door. Yeah, there you go. There you go, a little bit. See, <laughs> man, her. I was. I thought her ass wasn't real, but like watching her walk with it, it's got it's the movement. <laughs> you don't got to tell, but you, whether it's real or not, you fooled me. You never know. You know, it's either real or it's a good surgeon. <laughs> yeah, you got a good surgeon, but and he ain't fuck with it too much because oh the, the ass hangs. I like when the ass ass hangs a bit you know what i mean i don't mean that in a bad way okay when them, when them cheeks just like kind of like wop 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 yeah it's definitely not firm it's very soft nah nah who fucking i don't want to fucking touch a firm ass <laughs> Look, no I, young, I i don't uh, i don't i wouldn't want it either so there's a young lady I that i i see sometimes and she's got a fat ass but she's been you know she go to the gym and i like squeeze her ass that she'll tighten it up sometimes well you were really squeezing, squeezing her ass at the gym no, no. I was like, I'm, what? <laughs> I'm like, no, you take your ass to the gym and you can't oh. eat this, 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 and that, and then I'm going to squeeze your ass. Okay. No, she just came back from the gym and I was like grabbing her ass. And, and she, she clenched it, up. it. And it was, it felt like a <laughs> rock. And I'm like, you just killed my erection. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. All right. So, yeah, your, what, your, your measurements, I don't know bra sizes it's a, it's that well. 36H. Wow. They say H cups. So right there. let me like bro, they're big as fuck, yeah, son. Huge. <laughs> I love when did it. You de- when did you develop? Oh my god, I was busty as fuck. Like in middle school already, I had like one of the uh, biggest pairs of boobs in middle school. I was like a DD in like middle school. So. That's I knew a chick like that. She, I, I'm, I'm, I think her tits just stopped by then. You know, yours just kept going. You must have <laughs> been getting like. They stopped though. Thank, thank God, because I mean, <laughs> yeah, how much yeah. bigger can they get? You know. That's what, yo, yeah, we don't. Ron, we don't want your titties growing like fingernails. You know what I mean? Like, just don't <laughs> stop. Like, all right. No, it just... still has to be aesthetic, you know? Like, big as fuck, as big as, as possible, but still aesthetic and, like, nice, you know, looking. So and that's... you got here a couple years ago, like five, six years ago or so? Five, five years. Yeah, 2017 is when I you arrived. Hit, honestly, you hit the perfect, you got here the perfect time. Was that? because back in the day your figure was not popular oh yeah man. well that's literally why i got into what i'm doing right now because I, yeah. first of all my first city i arrived in was new orleans actually hey, in louisiana yeah, yeah. I'm and sure i was fucking with you down there huh? that that is definitely um well i didn't live there and then i, right. I moved to alabama 
I know. Once Don't again, ask. they were. They, they saw, they, I, I think they probably liked you down there. They, too. they loved it down good. there, and yep. that's where I got my confidence. Cause I, yeah. I, you know, in back in Poland, I was very insecure. European stand, beauty standards, especially Eastern European, it's just like this slim, blonde, Slavic girl, like no hips, no, no, no titties, and ja, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I definitely wasn't a beauty standard there. And then I came to, you know, that, the states. Yo, but, and, and everything turned around, you know. <laughs> yeah, like back in the day, you would have probably just had like uh, brothers trying to get their uh, get you for your car or some shit like that. Maybe you could help out with some shoes or a PlayStation and Mexican <laughs> cats, and then me. Well, well, the the problem is that there's like not that many minorities in Poland. There's Africans, uh, so yeah. I, oh yeah, I, I went dated to Africans, yes, but well, uh, you know, I went to Poland, and it's just y'all. <laughs> Basically, it's just all all white. Um, it's Ukrainians, all Polish. No, no yeah. not, not just Polish. It's Ukrainian, you know, uh, Russian, Polish, Bel Belarusian. It's just all day Eastern Europe, um, Hungarian, Czech, you know. But like, uh, well, you can't really tell because we're all basically white and we all look the same. <laughs> well, it's also the diet you have. and all, but The place I went to in the country, I'm going to be real with you. I went to this club. And everybody smelt the same. I never seen no shit like that ever. It was well, like just, a cologne or something. No, it was a Polish body odor that I never. Oh you know, I'm from America. This is like you're gonna have a, to elaborate on that. What's a Polish? I don't Polish know. This motherfucker smelled Polish to me, man. I was like, damn. Does everybody smell? Like, I first smelled it on a train, which felt like you were going into fucking uh, the Eastern Bloc. It was like one of those depressing trains that's all green and sells pierogies. And then when I first was smelling it there, then when I got to the club, which was in the middle of nowhere, uh, Oh my was, God, you went to one of them, te like those techno clubs, like the electro- like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the in a totally. field. Then people, a, then people have whistles and like white gloves and- I was <laughs> shook, man. I was afraid they was gonna beat me up, man. <laughs> I was like, I'm good, bro. Like, I didn't understand that culture, nothing. But I, Polish chicks are thick, though. That's what I like about the Polish girls. I, you know, maybe they're like thicker in America, like the Polish girls in America. But like in Poland, that's still not a beauty standard. I don't it's give very... a fuck if it's a beauty standard. It's just kind of y'all built like that. You got a little. Well, maybe naturally, maybe naturally, we are kind of big, and that's what they kind of always talk about. Like Polish people are big, and like. Polish dudes are huge too. Like, look at oh yeah, Gronk. trust. When I walked into the club, they was fist fighting each other before I even got in there, and I was like, I'm good. Right, like, you know, but like, but giants. everybody's trying to like be skinny because that's what er that's what the media tells us, you know. Well, it's just Kinda not like just that. It's like, look, man, you look big and shit like that. It's almost a uh, it's a it's a status symbol, like. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You look, you, you know, you got that farmer body where you could just put like twelve kids in you and you could keep going. They don't Huge want that. Birthing hips. That's a fetish too, by the way. That's a mummy fetish. Bur birthing hips and mummy milkers. Do people oh, <laughs> see? I would do that. I would. I would. I would, I would do the milking. The mummy, like, mummy milkers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go get pregnant so I can suck your titties. I'll pay for that shit. Are you? Are you lactating? Wait. Are you lactating? Or like, I mean, oh, is dude, this, am I lactating yeah, right now? You can do like mommy I mean, milking. No, I mean, you, you know, you got to be like pregnant or postpartum or like recently had a baby or breastfeeding to be lactating. I don't think that just we need happens. to do. Look, Romy, let's not give up that easy. We need to do some research <laughs> on this shit yeah, to see if squeeze. we can squeeze. Yeah, just, we can just squeeze. What okay. about the wet nurses and shit, man? <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm going to tell you something. If I give you enough like yogurt and suck your titties long enough, we're gonna get some milk out of you. Oh I swear to God. God. <laughs> Golly. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So you're you came out here, you're doing well, you're nice and thick. Your measurements are is is H bigger than a triple G or some shit, or is how does that work? Generally, yeah. Um oh, okay. It's just like a cup bigger um wow but a g a gg would fit me too i just have to go up a band size because it's how kind of how it works it's 38 g gg or 36 h 36 h fits best i was <laughs> but told. i'm not wearing a bra right now so <laughs> that's <know. laughs> yeah i got plans for your titties you don't even know i, I, I got that. titty plans <laughs> brewing brewing in my brain right now titty oh my plans. goodness okay um <laughs> And she got a fat ass too, y'all. Like, ugh. 
It's just to put the dick in you. Ugh. You're like, ugh, look at all that ass. That, that, that's how it started. That's how they slide in my DM with this, the exact phrase. Ugh. Ugh, I want to put my dick inside you, baby. Yeah. And then you get left on scene because you didn't tip. So. Bong, bong. See? <laughs> and it took me a good 10 minutes to tell her this shit, y'all. You got to warm it up. <laughs> and I'm, I don't expect a goddamn thing. I'm just telling her. Uh, yeah, that would, uh, yes. Golly. Your tits are crazy. Yes, I. I you must did you? Did I'm you obsessed hor- with them too. <laughs> did like oh like when you was a when you must have been getting hit on by like old like grown ups when you were fucking fourteen. Yes. Uh, How'd you deal with that? It. I kind of just didn't. I mean, it just you know it's just it was what it was. I mean, I right. didn't think much of it. Um, it's a little different than Poland. You know, we're. You know, I think you can fuck at like 15 or 16 legally. There you so. go. Hey, what? look, man. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, man, like to be real, 18 is kind of an arbitrary number. 15? Yeah, Holy like 15 shit. or 16. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't want to just lie. So, Like, here's the deal. I, I believe all that those rules came from, uh, like, in, you go if you go to like rural areas, I think a lot of that shit came from like... Uh, that's why places where they're doing they do a lot of farming and shit they don't go as they're 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 not like crazy sticklers about it can you see me now yeah i see you now. all right you'll see it like because it was all about just uh educating the motherfuckers but if you got to work on the farm you're not going to school so what the fuck does it matter <laughs> as long as you, you know yeah i yeah i i you, lived in um yeah. in a rural area before yeah very farm oriented <laughs> well good for you someone's got to grow the fucking food <laughs> for us to eat and then complain about y'all rednecks at the same time we'll eat your food and then tell you ain't shit uh, right that's yeah that's and how look man don't jude ain't uh from promoting like afghan child brides here y'all i'm just saying <laughs> I understand what she was saying. I get it. I get it. So, were you, did you start like having sex? Were you always were you always sexually active like the, like uh into into all this stuff? Um, no. Um, I really I never thought I was gonna get into this until I came to the states and ran into financial issues issues and um because I was a teacher in Poland, you know, I had my little nine to five and my little salary and it was fine. I had a lot of tutoring. Why'd you, you leave know? there? Because I wanted better. I, I wasn't trying to work for somebody else and make forty thousand a year. Like but forty thousand in Poland. Or, or is like thirty a billion. Like, no, Come but on, like forty thousand Polish slotty, which means like ten thousand dollars, you know. Are you serious? <laughs> Polish I need to go to Poland. Polish slotty. So like I'm I just going to wasn't... Poland and buying a chick. How much like I'm just gonna go out there and get me a bride well i don't i don't know <laughs> but come on, uh, you got some you got some come on i bet you got some broke cousins that need a husband <laughs> well i mean i'll tell you what like polish people gen- definitely glorify america so maybe you have well, a shot maybe if you're rich are you rich <laughs> For a Polish chick, yeah, I'm balling. <laughs> you just tell me you made ten grand a year. I got that shit. I'll fucking no, I'll but, stun on her. But don't get me wrong. Like I love Poland. I I love it. I miss it sometimes. You know, I still have family there, but it just wasn't for me. And I wanted a little more. And once I came here and I ran into these issues, and I I had a choice: just go all in and make it a business and like actually succeed and yeah, work for myself and do well. Or, you know, just get another nine to five here, which I, I just wasn't trying to do that. I couldn't. I, I just, so you I wasn't went to college. For... You went to college. Yes, I did. I have a master's degree in uh, linguistics, actually, with two specializations, uh, teaching and sworn translation. I don't even understand. What the fuck is linguistics mean? Um, I, like I said, I'm an English major and I have a specialization in teaching so I can teach at schools and I can be a sworn translator as well. That's gangster. So do you ever think about that when you're shitting in a jar for somebody? Well, you're like, Damn, you know what? man, I went to college and now I'm sh- All right, getting paid so- big bucks for, to shit in a... It's like, this is half a year's salary and all I had to do is eat Thai food. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I don't generally do the shitting stuff, but... um, But it's some, on the table. Sometimes I, sometimes I do, like, think about it. But, you know, I, I love 
flexing my college degrees because everybody generally people have a very limited knowledge about yeah. the adult industry and they all assume we're all junkies and have daddy wishes was stupid and we can't get a job and here i am with most just the ones degrees. i fucked not you Romy. you're you're the fucking right so you know i started like i started a whole business around this i have a company and i'm expanding now i'm trying to get into music so it's a real thing and not everybody not all of us are you know junkies and stupid you know so Look, I, man, I just I, I love spreading that information you know i love being this example i yo look i i, I yeah and look you you run up against it more than i do <clears throat> then you're really feeling it but i i think since over the years porn has become like you just see more women from college doing it and shit like that so it's it just for the simple look let's look at the numbers there's it's just less of a taboo there's so many women in porn now compared to in the 80s i was still i was still like uh uh my neighbors the uh like porn tapes it'd be the same chick all the goddamn <laughs> time like well you know but you know like, goddamn her again well still gives me a bummer i think i think women just you know trying to reclaim some power and you know a lot of people hate it because a lot of people have still have that mentality that you know a woman belongs in the kitchen you need to be cooking for your man and stuff but like well, look. here we are making cash doing something that you guys men yeah. generally sh- probably cannot do so and that yeah but like off. you still should be able to cook some shit <laughs> well, shit, real, i'm a man. fucking i'm a great cook go to my that's youtube i have a cooking video and everything i'm, yeah, I'm yeah. fine i'm not <laughs> I'm limited to, yo that's what i'm saying like yo man you don't get to just fart on people and not no, cook no, 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 polish no. food man no, yeah. you better uh yeah because that's <laughs> that, that's my problem with the whole thing it's like uh you don't have to get rid of uh being feminine to embrace this shit you can do both Yes. And, and, you know, this, this, the thing, um, it, a lot of people think that all we do is just shake our ass and like shake our tits and fart in a jar. But like, if you really want to be successful and you can do that, but you're not going to make money and you're not going to be successful. If you want to be for real successful, make a lot of money, six figures, seven figures, then this is a real business that requires real skills. Like we have like seven different jobs all in like, I'm, you know, I, I learned how to retouch uh, images and edit videos and how to shoot, you know, content and how right. to market and how to mm. be, you know, how to be a social media expert. And now I'm media trained as well. Like it's so much, diff- no, so many I different things. You one know? Of the, I think one of the main things that you didn't mention is uh, it's the gift of gab too. Like I, I fuck with strippers and you know it wasn't if you was good on the pole it was if you could go and talk to these motherfuckers that's another thing we're like a therapist yes and that's how that's how you cake up man you got that's that's how you get exactly how you make money up you gotta you gotta you gotta relate these people gotta trust you and you gotta befriend them and like throughout my career i've developed multiple you know pretty good friendships um yeah, online yeah. with my my customers which i, I call them fans the customers i Whatever just don't like fuck, that word know, but look they, they, fan, it is what know. it is if they can't fucking deal a fan is short for fanatic but like so there you go uh you know it's you know. either way the uh the other thing too is like a lot of people they think that men are just there for the sex and um there is sex appeal but it, go to go to a fucking strip club, man. Watch. There's just gonna be a dude in there that's just trying to connect, and he doesn't know how to. And he's pay, he has to pay somebody. To. Those it's are not, the, the highest. Those are the the best spenders. The guys yeah. who don't necessarily care for the sexual thing. I mean, they they like to get off, and they'll buy a per, they pu- purchase like a video or like a video call where you like masturbate together, and it's all fine. But like right, right. a lot of times, they just want to talk. They want to tell you about their nagging wife, and they want to yep. tell you about their shitty ass job, and they're you know they all they just want to tell you about their life because nobody else listens to them. I was literally talking to a friend today about this, and I was telling him like men are expected to be so tough all the time. Expect to provide for the wife. Make sure your wife is happy. Make sure your kids are happy. Make sure you're right. good at your job. But nobody ever really allows them to be selfish and self-absorbed. And here we come. You know, I come well, in it's and not I a, allow I, that. And they yo, love I'm going to say even different than that, Romy. It's like uh, 
like one, they oversimplified your your role in the sex industry. For sure. And then they oversimplified the man's role in the sex industry too. It's not sure. all about catching a nut. It's literally about what you said. And then, exactly. That those are the regulars that that spent thousands how you and thousands of dollars. That's when every you month. cake up. And yeah. then to your point too, it's like, yo, man, if if I'm married and I go to my wife with a bunch of these problems that's on my mind, what's it gonna do? It's gonna make her feel insecure in the fucking relationship. She not like I'm supposed to be the leader of the house, but she's looking at the leader of the house being fucking bummed out about some weird shit. She's gonna exactly. freak the fuck out. And, and a lot of times, you know, these men are frustrated because of their wives, and they cannot go to their wife with that. You know, they, they can't tell her that you're the reason for my fucking frustration. Like, she's going to fucking nag you to death at that point. You know what I mean? And, or, no. you know, some some women, you know, some women, maybe they can take it well. But right, right. just in general, he's not going to feel brave enough to just go and be like, like, I don't, you know, I'm frustrated because of you. Like, I need certain things from you. And it, it's very hard to communicate that. Men are, men really are expected to just be tough all the time. And especially Polish motherfuckers. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> at, and fellas, man, take this as a fucking, like, yo, if you got a problem, nip that at the fucking bud. If there starts to be an issue where you see her poking and nagging or or like kind of being negative to you, like, oh, you're going to wear those shoes and not even give you an idea of a different shoe to wear? <laughs> like, yo, you need to check her right there because that's going to go and go and go until you have no it's soul It's all left. about communication if you can figure out how to do that. And honestly, like, you can – I've had guys who paid me to practice um, – their like game and like communication because they wanted to communicate to their wife right right and they couldn't do it they couldn't reach her at all mm. and i was and I, i've been paid to for a girlfriend experience where i'm supposed to be the nagging girlfriend so he can figure out how to you know how to Deal. how to talk to a person and so that's kind of, kind of, kind of when i come in and i, I provide that service you know? i got i don't know i'm gonna say this i i feel like uh People are constantly testing one another. And yeah. if you let some shit slide, fellas and ladies, both, if you let some shit slide, they're going to push them. They're losing respect and they're going to do it more and they're going to do it more and they're going to do it more. And then five years later, they're talking to Romy about how, uh, how their wife is shitting on them. It's like, bro, you should have checked her in the first place, dog. Like, and people are very impatient too. You know, they just want to cancel everything right away. And yeah. just like at first, slight first red flag they're like normalized leaving after first red flag well if you do that then you're never gonna find a partner you know because yeah, we no, all people... fuck up like we all do that we yeah, all... you gotta forgive one another man yeah. that's how it goes learn how to communicate you know mm -hmm. if you gotta practice with a sex worker cool that's what you gotta do you know <laughs> it yeah. was for the bigger pur purpose so it's forgiving yeah. <laughs> and then maybe she'll tell you that your dick ain't shit. Like maybe if that's what you want. One stone. If that's what you want. <laughs> Yo, man, like, is it like I've talked to some ladies and they've had to deal with guys with actually large penises, and then you have to sit there and tell them that they have like a tiny ugly dick. Did did you have to deal with that, or is it mostly small dick fellas? Oh no, I've had like I've I've seen, I mean I've seen every kind of dick you can imagine. Mm. Um, I've seen one inch dicks. I've seen 12 inch dicks. I've, I've seen a 14 inch dick. And what are you going to do with flaccid? that? Flaccid? No, not oh. flat. No, hard. What, 14 <laughs> inch <laughs> flaccid? What's that going to be? It's a fucking yardstick. <laughs> bro, going to be like literally like you could tell if they got a first down in football with his dick, bro. Like boom, boom. So my thing is honest cock ratings. Um, so you, you, pay for a rating and i'll tell you exactly what i think about it Interesting. And, and i'm very honest about it i'm not mean unless that's what you request right right uh, but like like men need to understand that women we don't want a 12 or 20 inch pen penis we don't want that we want like a normal like six inch cock you know Hopefully it's nice and, and and well maintained, you know, and hopefully yeah, it gets it hard all the way. And that's all you need. I mean, don't don't think like you need a, a fourteen inch cock. Now, if you have a one inch dick, 
and then you you you're probably gonna have to incorporate some toys in the bedroom something you know because let's be honest especially i don't know you see my ass it's a 53 inch ass there's no ass way you can pass the ass cheeks with a one inch cock okay <laughs> i don't even know if i could get to your pussy with a regular dick but i would try god damn it i, I, I would I've fucking had, try I've, i think a, a six inch is is can get good there enough yes yes I might have to More put than on good a, enough, yes. like a dick weave and an extension, <laughs> like just to, ah, ah just dick to really... weave. I love it. I'm a, I'm a use. I'm a steal it. Eight eight seven four two three three four five. Uh, if you uh, got Romy Chase here, we just kicking it with her, and we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play her song at, at the end. Are you rubbing on yourself? <laughs> I'm grabbing my dick. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. This isn't sexual. This is just. Uh, normal. Yeah, this is this is normal. <laughs> I used to get in trouble for this shit. I don't even realize. I, I mean, got I'm in not trouble. surprised, honestly. You know? Fucking uh, yeah. You if, if, you'd you'd grab your dick if you had one. Like you'd be like, it's. I think it's like a comfort thing. You so, know? what's the like, craziest place you ever did that at? I used to do it. Well, pff, I don't know. Like real, I, I get. I would get in trouble when I worked at the bar because I'd have like. Uh, nine on a jog, like you know, like them old school '90s uh, jogs, and I'd just be waiting for people to do some shit, and I'd just be sitting there holding my dick while they're like, while I'm waiting for, <laughs> they're like, Jesus Christ, can you stop grabbing your penis, Jude? I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Well, I'm not touching drinks. I'm a bus boy. Like, what do you want? Like, I'm not mixing. I'm not sticking my finger to fucking mix a margarita. I mean, you go them. to jail for that. That's like public indecency. Well, I was doing it from the outside, not from the inside. I don't but care. In the crib. <laughs> you were grabbing on yourself. <laughs> you are not going to lecture me while you shit in jars about what is fucking proper and oh what is God. not. Oh, my God. You're not going give, to give up on I already told you I don't do this. Well, well I don't do that all the time either. All so right, we well, even fine, you, fine. You can, Fair you, enough. You, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry that I put you off by fucking uh, <laughs> relaxing and forgetting I'm on goddamn Zoom. This uh, she was like, "Did you just grab your dick?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Apparently, I do that more than I realize. Oh no, I see this so much. I get this all the time. So yeah, I but mean, I, I, I wasn't going to jerk kind of. off. I don't know like, that. How do how do I know that? What I mean, you I, said? I see. What have you said shit? that's gonna turn me on? We just talked about like men needing a connection. You think I'm a kid? Oh I, man, I, yeah. I mean, do you just talk to your wife. There's a fetish for everything you can possibly think of. So I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I accept your apology. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. I do. It's good that you don't judge. <laughs> No, never, never, ever, ever. But I'm about you, to get judged on the show, though, right? Uh, what time is it, John? Uh, it's coming up at three. We're two. We, what, we don't got time. We don't. We're just gonna play your song. You don't even have to hear whether they like it or not. Wait, what? Why? What happened? We're gonna play your song. Okay. Do you want feedback or no? Sure, always. You know, open. <laughs> Are you sure Are, about that? Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm fine. Do you realize I I get. All kind of DMs every day. <laughs> every all right, day. man. I like, you know, uh, already hey, heard it all. Hey, you the boss. You the boss, <laughs> boss. You do, I, like, I was like, man, we having a good conversation. Uh, I really, I'm enjoying talking to her. You know, I'm, I'm a guest, gonna, so yeah, whatever y'all want to do. I'm well, I, look, man, I was like, I ain't going to put her through no motherfucking hater or love it, man. Like, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just play her song and bounce. But she wants to do that. Uh, 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 I'm but, open. I'm just saying it's up to y'all. I, I'm here. I was aware what I, you know, came here for. So, do you trust me? Uh, when you say it like that, <laughs> no, I, have I, guess. I steered? Have I steered you wrong? Have I like made you feel bad this whole fucking time? No, not at all. Then you know, all right, we'll play. We'll we'll do it your way. But just just know that I was uh, that I'm. I have good intentions for you. Okay. Okay, thank you. There That's it is. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I got good intentions for you, man. Uh, but this is what you got to do this for me, and I know it's gonna sound weird, but you're you got some of the biggest titties I've ever seen, mm. like that are normal. And yo, I, this is another thing that you got. Shout out to the Polish chicks; they can have big titties and big asses. 
<laughs> it's uh, it's, you gotta be well balanced. I mean, look, bro, you can you come on, you see, you you been on the Eastern Block, you see them chicks with no asses and all titties over there, and and, and it's uh, like the nineties look, the basketball titties. Yeah, right. They look like yeah, just skinny ass, no ass, uh, <laughs> no no booty, giant titties, which is cool. Like I've, I this is what I've come to realize, bro. Me, the most important thing about a woman is like it's not her tits or ass, it's her vagina, you know, and what her mouth does. So what that mouth do? <laughs> <laughs> so I try not to judge. I have and, a, I have a I have a stroker out like a. What's a stroker? It's like a like a flashlight, like that, like that a vagina blended? replica. Yeah. Okay. You can buy it. Is it want. molded off of your pussy? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put my dick in that and then yours to be able to cosign <laughs> it. I'll be like, I can't really just my you know my word means a lot, so I can't just say this feels just like your pussy, <laughs> and I'm imagining what your pussy feels like. So. Um, that is awesome. Congratulations. Anyway, let's go, let's go back to your giant breasts. I, and you, I don't know if you've done this before, but John is a boxer. Is he? Every day he's in the gym taking blows to the head and he's blowing head. Like he's doing, he's doing it all. Uh Uh-huh. Lots of head. Okay. (laughs) What's your request? (laughs) I'm building this up. I just want you to like, take your titty out, pull it as high as you can and then put John in the sweet spot. And just bust him in the head with your breast, because I want to know how fucking the uh, the caliber, the the weight that's gonna, bam! <laughs> I want John to be able to be like, all right, that was like a punch, uh, that was like a body blow or some shit like that. Would you be willing to I, do that? I can. Uh, well, I'm not gonna lift them all the way because I'm not wearing a bra. That's the <laughs> whole I'll point. That's good. That's the whole that's fucking important. point. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> help me help you, dude. Like, oh. Look, man, you you don't even need to be on the camera. Just go in the corner and just go, ah, blam, or turn the camera off. So, like, is he gonna got, come here? Or what's yes, yes, yeah, he's gonna right, go I'll back go there. <laughs> we need him titties out and go, bam. <laughs> John's gonna get hit in the head with some titties. I can't believe you're wow. Hold on, let me <laughs> hold my dick. Let me grab my dick for this. Let me <laughs> <laughs> finally something that I'm into. All right, All right I gonna be, stand up for it. Yeah, get the uh, get the mic by you too, uh, and John, you can position the microphone. He's, he's All way right. taller than me, so I don't know how we're gonna do. Oh, this. we're we're gonna. How tall that. are you, girl? All is well. All is well. So let me just get by here for a second, so I get some headphones I'm on. I'm five four. Very Wait, you're five four? Yes. <laughs> he's get, he's preparing. Oh. <laughs> Who John is? Yes. I was just thinking five four. God damn you! They, oh, you sound like fun. Just five four, thick as fuck, fat ass. Jesus Christ! All right, all right. All right I think you gonna have to. Okay. Yes. I mean, you uh, gotta lift them. You gotta lift. You got. Hey, turn around or whatever right, you gotta let me do. Just take off my glasses. Do you want me air? You want me to shut my eyes? All right. She's gonna. All right, y'all. Hold up, hold up. Can we put, all right, so get over towards the table so I can Wait. really get the, okay. All right, some, Mike, uh, John, put the mic by you so you okay. can describe yes. it. Okay, so, all right, she is. What do you think? Hey, turn off the camera. Can you shut the blinds and have them, you can't hit them with your regular titties? No. What, are you too modest? No. Oh. Okay. I charge for that. I'll give you five Yeah, we bucks. charge for this. I'll so, like, bucks. we even steam it. 20 bucks. All right, do you want it or not? All right, hit me. All right, all right, here we go. All right, he's about to. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> She's beating John wow. in there with titties. All right, I mean, yeah, she did knock off Put my Put the bike. mic by you, John. Go ahead. All right, all right. So, I knocked right. off. All right, let's, yeah, let's, hey, John, John, t- yeah. tell, hold up, tell John to put the mic by him. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've got a mic with me. Right, I can't so, hear you, bro. You, 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 blam, blam, uh, blam, blam. Okay. <laughs> she yeah, banging yeah. him in the there fucking head. There you go. All right. Yep. So, I mean, I would, I would say, I, that, John, um, you're not on mic, bro. Your uh, mic is not you know, on, bro. I, I thought I was. No, nah, no, we got no and audio. All right, his, let me go to this headphones. mic instead. Nope, nope, John. Now you got John. Bring that mic down, and she's got to hit you in the head again, dog. Oh, why? Right. What happened? Because we couldn't hear John. He just was sitting. All we heard was. All right, John. Okay, here all we right. go. We'll try one more. Hit, time. Give hey, wrong. Give him, give him all you got. Give him your right, worst. Uh, yeah. right. uh, uh, she got uh, the tissue. Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, I mean, it was like you know, one of the. Uh, well, when, I mean, it wasn't like getting hit by Chris back in the day. Yeah, I was like, right. That was like getting hit like a bowling ball. But, you know, it's like someone like a you know uh, just trying to get some range before they. Yeah, it looked, like, it looked like it looked like, uh, she, and she was hitting you with a flurry of the titties yes. too. So it was like blam, blam, yeah. blam, blam. So like the, the breast smothering is a thing. I've never done this, but the, the smothering is a thing. Okay, that's what is that? Too. Well, I get paid for it. So blah, no, blah, blah. Wait, when you when you put your face in between somebody's Oh, you want to do that? I it's gonna cost you. <laughs> I mean, you act like that's you. Uh, you don't understand business, right? Okay, tell me. You about do not you. understand business. You on here trying to charge us for some shit <laughs> while we're looking out for you? That's fucked up, Ron. That's hey, I, I did you, it. You I sh- did it. I, I that the was titties a, didn't come out. It was you halfway did it. That was a free sample. 